guys, so in today's video I'll be sharing my hijabi essentials with you guys. I always get asked where I get my hijabs from, my hijab accessories and polo necks and long sleeve tops and all that stuff from. So I thought why not put it into one big video so it's easy for you guys to find all these pieces. So in this video I'll be going over my hijabs, my hijab accessories, my cover-ups, basically anything that helps me get dressed and helps me feel comfortable when I'm wearing anything out there in the world. All of that will be mentioned in this video. Everything you see in this video will be linked on my blog which is simonchai.co.uk. I'll link it down below and also up there so you guys can click and check that out. I have a bunch of links and photos and extra links so you guys are fully covered for everything. But yeah, without further ado, let's jump straight into this video. So the first category that we have is hijabs. Now when it comes to hijabs, you have them in two sizes. The first size is a standard size and this size generally just covers your head and gives you decent coverage and the next size is maxi size. Now with maxi hijabs you can literally cover the entire world if you like. They are literally humongous. They're usually around about the same length but the width is double so they are huge. They give you loads of coverage and loads of volume. When it comes to hijab sizes I feel like that's all up to personal preference. For me if my scarf is a bit sheer I'll tend to go for a maxi hijab that way I can fold it over and get more coverage and make sure that nothing is see-through and leaking through anywhere. But if my scarf is opaque and I want something really simple and minimal with no bulk then I'll definitely go for a standard hijab size. Now when it comes to hijab materials there are two types that I prefer. The first type is the Georgia type. It's like a Georgia chiffon mix. They're super light, super comfortable, super chic and they just look so damn elegant. Now these hijabs are great for day to day but they're also perfect for when you're going out to events or parties or anywhere fancy because they just look so elegant and so classy. And because they are so light and silky they drape and flow so beautifully just over your shoulder, on your head, on your bosoms, wherever you would like they just look great. So I always have one of these in a black and in a nude and I feel like color wise for me for my essentials I always tend to have things in a black and in a nude because they match everything that I wear. Black literally suits absolutely everyone and so does nude but of course when it comes to the shade nude it's different for everyone. For me it's this lighter shade of nude but for someone else it might be something a bit darker, something a bit more pink, something a bit more orange depending on your skin tone. So if you guys are looking into build like your own little capsule collection of essentials I definitely recommend going for a black and a nude that is to your shade. But yeah back to the hijabs. Both of these are from Mario Bint. They are super light and comfortable. The only downside to these scarves are the fact that they are very, very silky, so you can't really get away with wearing them without an underscarf or without any pins. So if you are looking for like a Georgia chiffon mix hijab that will give you a bit more grip and a bit more coverage, then definitely check, oh my god, I smacked myself. Then definitely check out Faith Bloom Collection because their hijabs have the look of a Georgia chiffon scarf but they have a bit of grip to them so you can pretty much just tie them and they'll stay as is and you don't have to worry about it being too sheer. The next type of scarf that I have is a cotton scarf. These are your standard hijab. They are super affordable, super comfortable, super cozy and I guarantee you if you have ever worn a hijab, most likely you've owned one of these. They're like the perfect everyday scarf. So once again, I have a nude and I also have a black which I'm wearing right now and um, both these are from Rima Bias. The next scarf that I have is one that I got a few months ago and I've been loving ever since and it is this gorgeous Habiba de Silva scarf just on Oh my gosh. If you own one of these scarves, I don't need to tell you. You guys know already how amazing these scarves are, but if you don't own one, oh my gosh, you should. So I have it in this lovely shade that I feel like it's a perfect nude for me, and this is in the shade Thicker, I believe. I'm sure I've said that wrong. I apologize, but it is gorgeous. It is lovely. And it is literally ginormous. Like, you know when I mentioned, like, super maxi hijabs? This is one of those, just like... It is a tent. I could wear this as a sari and it would be fine. The next item in my essentials isn't a hijab, but it's in the same category and it's these amazing pull-on turbans. These are literally lifesavers. Whenever I need to run out the house, answer the door for a random postman, whenever I need to go somewhere in a rush but I don't have time to wrap my hijab properly, I will reach for one of these because you literally pop it on and you look so fly. I feel like if you're the kind of person who does wear turbans and you want something a bit more quick and easy but something that also looks really good, definitely go for these. These ones are from Brothers and Sisters and I have have them in like a bunch of different materials and a bunch of different colors but I always tend to go for these two my black and my nude once again and I have these with a bow and without a bow I wear whichever depending on whatever my mood is okay so next up we have hijab accessories so the first thing I have in my hijab accessories are straight hijab pins every hijabi or any person who wears a scarf on the head always needs straight hijab pins maybe not for all the hijab styles out there but usually at one point you will need one and that one pin will literally save your life I mean I literally have these pins everywhere I have them in my room, I have them downstairs, I have them in my bag, I have them pushed into the seat of a car. So yeah, these are definite essential and you can literally get these anywhere. You can search online for straight hijab pins or straight pins and they will come up. You can go to Islamic stores, you can go to the markets. You can literally find these anywhere and usually you get them in like a big wheel. It kind of looks like a CD with like loads of pins going around it and it's for a pound so definitely 
get those. It's always good to have these in all different kinds of colors so they match all your hijabs, but I think the main colors you need are black and white because they go with everything. The next thing I have in my accessory essentials are these no snag safety pins. They are literally the best safety pins in the world. Now these no snag safety pins are literally lifesavers because they hold your scarf in place, they don't make any holes, they don't pull your hijab, and everything just looks nice and neat and put together. When I first wore the hijab, I'd always wear those silver safety pins and oh my god, they were like the bane of my existence. I hated them so much. They would always scratch my neck and leave huge holes in my scarf and sometimes it wasn't even holes, it'd just get tangled and I'd just be stuck there in my hijab. So if you're using regular safety pins, please just throw them away and get yourself some of these. These are really cheap and again you can get them absolutely anywhere from like an Islamic store if you just google like no snag safety pins these will come up even if you just go to your market they will probably have them there and they are fairly cheap I think I got like a pack of 12 for a pound or two something like that. The next essential that I have is a pin cushion. I know this isn't something you can wear but trust me as a hijabi as someone who wears a scarf and uses hijab pins this literally saves my life as does everything else in this video but seriously if you are using safety safety pins or straight hijab pins you'll definitely need one of these because you can just chuck all your pins in there and you won't have to worry about it the only thing you have to worry about is when it sticks out on the other end and scratches you because that's happened before and it was not fun so be careful when you're putting your pins in this but besides from that usually these are pretty safe you can check them about and they're fine you won't scratch yourself and you won't lose any pins and with pin cushions again you can get these absolutely anywhere honestly I can't remember where I got this from but I got this a few years ago I think at like a smoky nut smudgy like charity event anyway next up we have my last accessory essential and that is the underscarf, the infamous bonnet cap. If I'm wearing a scarf on my head, I have to wear one of these under it. If I don't, my hijab will literally slide off my head and fly out the window, literally like an Indian movie scene. So to prevent that from happening, I always wear one of these under my hijab. Now, not everyone has to wear one of these. I know some girls can get away with just wearing the hijab and the hijab won't slip, but for me, it gonna be out that window flying around hitting some boy's face. So for those of you guys who don't know how these work, this is how it works. You just pop it on like a hat and then you tie the part at the back and you are good to go. I mean, you're not good to go. You're sort of primed, but not ready yet. After this, you pop on the hijab and then you're good to go. But yeah, when I first got into wearing the hijab, I actually had these in like a bajillion different colors and I had bedazzled ones. I had like stones on the front and all kinds of fancy stuff. But now that I'm older, I literally just have two. I have my black one and have my nude one. I do have a few of them because for some reason, these always go missing. I put them down, next minute they're gone. Like, I don't know where they disappear to. I've literally lost so many of these. I don't even know where. For some reason, I always find my nude one. My black ones they're just gone who knows where they are so living somewhere in some alternate dimension happily just without me but yeah guys that is everything that i have in my accessories essentials next up we have clothing essentials Ex essentials essentials i don't know why i can't say that for some reason so for clothing i won't really be mentioning like any oversized jumpers or loose trousers or those tube maxi skirts because i hate those tube maxi skirts but yeah i won't really be mentioning those so i feel like those items are more to do with your personal style preference and the items that i'll be showing you are more like cover Ups, things that you might wear underneath your clothes I mean you could also wear them outside on top of your clothes but they're more like essentials to keep you covered and keep you comfortable so first up we have polo necks everyone loves a good polo neck they keep you covered they keep you warm they keep you snazzy and they're just super duper chic so I have two main ones that I'll be showing you guys the first one is this lovely nude one from misguided so as you guys can see this is a polo neck but it has a bit of a shorter neck which I kind of prefer I mean I feel like sometimes with my outfits this looks better especially when I'm wearing something that already has a bit of the neck to it you know this can sort of just hide underneath but give me that coverage and this is about seven or eight pounds from misguided on sale and honestly misguided literally has the best polo necks and the best bodies like not human bodies but like you know the body suits that you wear under clothes they literally have the best ones in all kinds of colors so if you're looking for some great polo necks or bodies to wear under clothes definitely check out misguided the next polo neck that i have is this ribbed one from zara this one's slightly thicker and as you can see it has a huge neck like literally i could just do the whole k-pop thing you know when they cover half their face i could do that but yeah i really like this one because it's thicker and also because of the long neck it gives a different look to the outfit i generally tend to prefer layering these with like those slip dresses or like those um slip type cami tops i feel like they look really cute with those but yeah these are my two polo neck essentials i do have a bunch of other nude and black ones i have some that are thinner some that are thicker some that are ribbed some of them are not ribbed i literally have a wide variety to suit my needs the next thing they have are bodies again not human bodies but the kind of body you wear underneath 
with clothing. For those of you guys who don't know, these are basically tops that have a little crotch clipping at the bottom. So it kind of looks like a swimsuit or like a leotard. And because it does have this clip at the bottom, you can have like a nice seamless look. Because I know sometimes when you wear polo necks, it can scrunch up. Or if you tuck it into your jeans, you know, it poofs up a little bit. So when you have one of these, it's completely seamless because you literally just, you just clip it down, clip it down. And it's nice and stretched. If you're wearing one of these, you literally will never have a skin slip. Kind of like a nip slip, but a skin slip. You know, sometimes when you wear a top and you think you're fully covered, but then you move and then your side comes out or maybe your chest comes out or your back comes out. Do you know what I mean? If you have one of these, you will literally never face that problem, especially because you clip it down at the bottom. Literally, it, it just doesn't move. It stays in place and you move around and it's fine. So again, I have this in a black and I also have it in a nude and both these are from Misguided. Honestly, I need to like get my ass on Misguided like ASAP and order all the colors because these are literally the best. I think the only problem I have is the fact that the neck is just so high and it isn't tight enough. I mean, it's tight, but to an extent. I kind of want it to be even tighter, but I also don't want it to strangle me at the same time. So I'm still on the hunt for one with a tight neck and also ones with like a smaller neck. Like if it was like this, that would just be perfect. I can't remember how much these were. I feel like it was around 11 pounds to nine pounds, depending on which one of these were on sale. But yeah, these are great to wear under clothing because it's just, ooh. Next up, I have leggings and tights. Now leggings and tights are one of my faves because it literally lets me get away with wearing a lot of random trousers and skirts. Like if my jeans have ribs in them, I'm fine. If I'm wearing a short skirt or some culottes or like some cropped trousers, I'm fine because these got me covered. So these are leggings that I have. They are super thick, super comfortable. I can do like a bajillion squats in these and you still won't see a panty line or like a bit of my thigh. You know, sometimes leggings stretch and you can see a bit of your skin. This will not be happening with these leggings. They are literally the best leggings I have ever owned. Now H&M actually carries two different types of leggings. The first pair is like your standard pair that kind of stretches and you see a bit of thigh and a bit of like panty line, but they are a big no-no. I don't like those. But in winter, if you look real hard, you'll find their second pair of leggings which are the ones I'm showing you right now and those are the super thick ones so if you see these in H&M make sure you grab them for some reason they're not always out but when you do see them snatch them up because they disappear like that and I believe these are around seven or eight pounds next up we have tights and the tights that I have are from H&M and they are literally the best thing they come in a pack of two and I believe these are around eight or nine pounds I think they're like 7.99 or 8.99 I know hanging up they look really really silly I was contemplating where wearing them or hanging them but in the end I felt a little uncomfortable so I thought you know what let me just hang them once again you don't have to worry about any panty lines or having any skin showing through these are literally the thickest most amazing tights ever and my favorite part about them is the fact that they actually have like this extra material at the top so basically you have the standard tight over here which is nice and thick and opaque but then at the upper thigh like right just before where the crotch begins you have like this thicker material that's attached that's kind of like the tights but much much thicker and this basically makes sure the underwear is not peeking through you don't have any underwear lines and also because it is so nice and thick but tight at the top it doesn't roll which I found with other tights you know when you wear them and you pull them all the way up they look great you're feeling good then you walk outside and slowly they just start to roll and roll and then you sit down and they like just they just they just roll down even further but with these because they are so thick and so tight up here they never roll they literally stay right in place where you leave them now with both my Tyson leggings I only have them in a black but believe me if I ever manage to snag them in a nude shade I will so those are my cover up essentials the next item that I have to show you guys is a clothing piece but I feel like for this it's more of an essential because these literally help you out in your time of need whenever you need to look super modest or super covered up or you want to look chic and fabulous they come in at the last second and just save your soul and they are your abayas now abayas are great because it's one outfit in one piece you pop it on you look fabulous you wear your pajamas underneath and no one will even know also not to mention these are extremely easy to dress up and down like if you wear one of these just on the cash with like some converses but if you do want to dress them up they are so easy all you need is a pair of nice classy heels a cute little bag maybe some sunnies or like some nice big dangly earrings and that's it that's literally all you have to do to dress up i've been to so many random family parties and like eid gatherings where i always wear a bias because they just look so cute and they make you look so snatched but also so halal just ooh. so the first abaya that i have to show you guys is the classic black one and this one is from inaya collection it has these wonderful wide sleeves so it looks real chic and cute and it also has a nice little belt that you can tie around the waist to sort of snatch you a little bit if you would like to be snatched this abaya that i have is a closed abaya so you literally just wear it like a 
a dress or a jumper, you just pop it on, zip the back up, and you are good to go. The second abaya that I have that I feel like everyone should have, and I feel like a lot of girls already own, is the open abaya. My one is from Reem Abayas. It's in this gorgeous mauve lilac shade. It's got some lace on it. It's got these beads. It's got some piping. It's just all so cute. Like, if I'm going to an Eid party or if I'm going anywhere where I need to look super fancy but also, like, super covered up, this is what I go for. I usually tend to wear these with, like, long sleeve tops and leggings, and I always wrap it around and tie it at the waist so it looks nice and snitched and cute. And then, you know, pop on some heels, grab some earrings, and you are good to go. I think a few years ago for Eid, I actually wore one of these, but I wore it with, like, some really big sunglasses and, like, a nice sparkly clutch bag. So, you know, you can literally style these in a bajillion different ways. But, yeah, guys, that is everything that I have in my hijabi essentials. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and hopefully it was helpful for you guys. Like I mentioned earlier, everything will be linked with photos on my blog, which is slimachariot.co.uk. It'll be on the screen right now, in the description bar, and also up there somewhere. So, make sure you guys check that out for more details. And remember, you guys can follow me on social media at slimachariot.co.uk for Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, all that good stuff. But, yeah, guys, that's this whole video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully, it's helpful for you guys and I'll see you next one. Bye!